pigs. How do you prefer yours? Roasted? Fried? How about with a sprinkle of human DNA inside? Sounds delicious. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at the sick creations of scientists. Let's begin. For people who love bacon but hate everything it does to their diet, scientists in China have created a way for you to have your pig and eat it too. A team of researchers have genetically altered pigs to carry nearly 24% less body fat. They use the CRISPR gene editing technique. The team reported modifying a group of pigs. They gave birth to much leaner piglets. This has been hailed as a wonderful thing, as an accomplishment, an achievement. I have a different opinion, that's for sure. The experiment is looking to make pigs less susceptible to the cold. Scientists noted that modern pigs, especially younger ones, lack the ability to deal with colder temperatures and build up unhealthy levels of fat. The researchers added that the change could create huge savings for the pig farming industry. So we put them in an unnatural environment, they develop more fat, and what do we do? We say that's bad for us because we eat the animals, and therefore we have to edit their genes so that they don't create as much fat. This is absurd. The body will then respond in a different way if it's not able to grow that fat something is else is going to be thrown off these levels cannot be sustained you can't edit a gene and expect it to just be okay after oh it was just that gene it's not going to affect anything else what are the repercussions of this we don't know we don't know the long-term effects of this and yet it is being put onto the store shelves it will be and i'll tell you why in a moment scientists use stem cells to create human pig chimera embryos and i'm sure they went beyond the embryo stage efforts by researchers to grow the first embryos containing cells from humans and pigs provided more challenging than anticipated human animal chimeras offer an insight into into early human development and disease onset and provide a realistic drug testing platform they also talk about growing human cells tissues and organs for regenerative medicine so what they want to do is basically to have your body parts to be grown inside of these pigs so that you can easily do transplants or anything else what are you doing though you're creating freaks you're creating something that could never possibly exist in nature. And of course, what are the ramifications of this? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen if you start creating this, let it go out into the wild. It starts you know, mating with others, creating these impossible, these impossible things that could never have possibly happened. That, that's the way it is. Let's move on here, okay? Truly upsetting. Sale of genetically modified salmon in Canada alarms environmentalists. It's not environmentalists that should be upset. It's everyone that should be upset. And it's not just Canada. It is in the U.S. as well. They've been able to genetically modify salmon. They grow faster. They grow larger. And they mix the gene with another fish, basically, and allowed it to grow to the way that they want because of course the salmon isn't big enough it's not strong enough it's not growing fast enough so we'll figure that out and it did the challenge is that you will go to the store you will buy your salmon and you will not know which is genetically modified and which is so what are you going to do you can avoid the salmon but then it'll be trout and then it will be tilapia and then it will be the next one so on and so on they would just continue to do this and all of the food supply will be ruined this is a greater danger than anything else genetically modified food is the worst thing that exists today beyond everything else genetically modified food and it's making its way into everything processed if you eat some sort of processed food, if it comes in a package, if it comes in a bottle, chances are it has some small trace even of genetically modified food. It's really troublesome. I saw the early images before it was actually approved and the salmon actually had like a six pack abs on it. 
So you're going to go to the store. You're not aware if you're getting the ripped six-pack salmon or you're getting just a normal from nature salmon. And that's scary. That's frightening to think about. This. These are freaks that they've created. They've totally destroyed the ecosystem. All right, moving on. I thought this was really frightening. Clean Label Project Baby Food Study Results of 2017. So they studied all these different products here. Infant formula, baby cereal, food jars, pouches, drinks, juices, snacks, everything else that you would give to your kids. And unfortunately, there's a couple bad things in all of those. You got arsenic, cadmium, lead, and acrylamides finding their way into these products. Nearly 80% of infant formula tested positive for arsenic. 60% of items that were BPA-free or supposedly BPA-free contained BPA. And the organic products tested for over two times the amount of arsenic of conventional. And then you put that into your baby's body, goes right to the brain, no blood-brain barrier. There's a lot in here. Basically, the products that exist today have a lot of contamination. Where it's coming from, I believe it's many sources. But the fact remains is that the safety that's, that's put in place is not really there. We're told that it is, but unfortunately it's not. They're supposed to be monitoring. They're supposed to be checking up on these corporations that produce the food that we consume, but they don't. They give them a free pass every time. Because all the biggest corporations have their men and women in the highest positions of power. And they are supposedly the watchers. Well, we got to watch the watchers. Levels of glyphosate, a controversial chemical found in herbicides, markedly increased in the bodies of a sample population over two decades. So basically what they found was that they tested these people, tested them later on. As the years went on, they accumulated more and more of this glyphosate. Glyphosate is known to be probably, this is quote, probably carcinogenic. It is used in Roundup. You, you probably know all this anyway, but I'll just cover it quickly. Used in Roundup, provided by potentially the most evil corporation on the face of the earth. And it's used all over the world. They tested this, they found it, it's accumulating people. Then we find out people are getting more allergies, more diseases, they're just building up. They're detecting this now, they're finding it in people and it's not a shock. We expect it because it's becoming more pervasive. It's in all these different products. They test different products, they find the glyphosate in there, then we eat it. We drink the water, the water has it in there, residues of it, we have the meats. The meats have the residues in there as well. In fact, the meats have more of the pesticide herbicide residues than the actual vegetables and fruit do. It accumulates in the tissues and in the bones. Wedged between green groups and the agricultural lobby, an EU member expert committee punted a vote Wednesday on proposals to extend the European license for the controversial weed killer glyphosate sector set to expire at the end of the year. It just goes on basically, should we allow this really poisonous chemical to be put into the supply for the food? Well, I don't know, let's think about it. My goodness. And then this, <clears throat> I'm gonna struggle with this one here. Try to keep composure. Research from the universities of Dundee and Oxford have shown how combining the tetanus vaccine with a viral particle that normally affects cucumbers can be used to treat psoriasis and allergies and may even protect against Alzheimer's disease. So they somehow created a vaccine using the virus and they can inject it into people and this will solve their issues such as psoriasis and allergies. Well, I won't get into too much here, already at a loss for words. You cannot have a problem that is created by different issues that exist 
environmental, nutrition, genetic, and then try to restore the balance with a vaccine and with a virus. You're going to hurt people even more, and this is a failed program if it is the public safety that you're worried about. If you have psoriasis, if you have allergies, you need to understand the great lymphatic system. You can do the search for that, the great lymphatic system. You will come up with the legendary Dr. Morse who talks about this. These are issues that should not exist today. If you understand the lymphatic system, you will understand how to reverse it. You don't C-U-R-E, not allowed to say that word, but you reverse its existence. You will pull that out of your body. I'm not going to get into more of that. That's not what this channel is about. I don't talk about that here, but I do like to cover this type of issues occasionally. In fact, it's been months, it seems, since the last time I did a video on health. I do like to cover it. But unfortunately, before you know who that's listening right now, before all these issues came up, I had the biggest issues with these videos. These were the ones that were getting kicked off all the time. So they really hate this information. So we'll see what happens this time around. I have to change the title slightly so it doesn't really try not to get picked up by their algorithms and stuff. It's a wild wor world that we live in now. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. And I have actually free ebooks on this. I have ebooks on uh, vaccines, on fluoride, and genetically modified food. You can check that out at my website, themoneygps.com. I've got my own books here that are um, on the financial aspect. You can check that out. The link's in the description below. I hope my delivery was okay on this. I really, really... I see what's happening to people every single day. All of the diseases that are just piling up. All of the, the hurt that's going on. And you see it with your family members, perhaps with yourself. And the solutions provided are always there for those who want to profit. And unfortunately, they're not actually solutions. But the profit part is there. So that's all. Take care.